Mariners beat the Braves 3-2 to two last night in a game that I had to watch on replay. I was in bed after basically crapping myself all night. Caballero with that home run, that two-run home run. Oh, man, he is not Caballero. Polanco, I think I keep thinking it's Caddy because I want him to come back. Mariners struck out 11 times while striking out 10, including Acuna twice, Uzuna quite, twice, and Arcia twice. The Mariners' offense looked better than it has in the recent weeks, but the strikeouts are still there. The issue with the strikeouts is going to be something that's going to potentially bite the Mariners as it comes to later in the season with 11 strikeouts yesterday. Uh, but they played small ball later on in the inning. Uh, Dylan Moore doubling to score uh, Mitch Hanniger. Luke Rayleigh moving to third. That was such an amazing play. Uh, that was in the fourth. Uh, his third double of the season. And then, unfortunately, we, we led 3 nothing. but then, unfortunately, we let Atlanta score two ga- two runs. Uh, but they, they were uh, not runs that were good. Um because we we had some defensive issues. Castillo goes to three and four on the season with seven strong innings pitched, giving up three hits, one walk, striking out seven, and lowering his season ERA to three four six. Lopez went five, gave up six, three runs, three earned runs, walked two, struck out seven, including the home run. Doubled his ERA plus. Well, not his ERA plus, but his ERA doubled and more. It went from point seven two to one five. One point five. Uh, the winning pitcher um, was actually, I'm sorry, a wild pitch thrown by Stanek, which was unfortunate. Why did they put, they need to do something because WP stands for winning pitcher and wild pitch. They need to do something about that. Um, Munoz got the save and Stanek got the hold. Absolutely wonderful. The team has given up very few earned runs over the last um week 17 18 games but this is a historic run that the mariners are on right now in terms of defense it's just unfortunately we have some offensive ineptitude at some points seattle's up to 311 strikeouts to 101 walks scored 109 runs 106 of them were runs batted in we've got 29 doubles five triples and 31 home runs brought our team average up to the mendoza line at 217 and are slug to 353, so that's actually not bad. I want to look at the pitching stats, though, uh, in terms of, obviously, wins, but uh, hits. Rockies have given up the most hits, and the Mets have given up one fewer hit than the Mariners at 204 in six less innings pitched and one fewer game. In terms of runs, the Mariners have given up the Tied for the fewest runs with the Royals, who've actually played two more innings. In terms of earned runs, the Mariners have given up the second fewest at 90. Boston's only given up 78. Home runs, we've given up 30. Boston's given up 22. The Mets have only given up 17. Nineteen guys. We've hit twelve. Miami's walked 129. We've walked 69, which isn't bad over the course of a season. We've struck out 284, which is third in the league. This is historic. The team whip is 1.02, and opposing batters are averaging 209 against the Mariners. I don't know what the Mariners, what else the Mariners need to do to be um, considered a potential World Series contender other than stop striking out. That's literally the only thing I can say about the Mariners is stop striking out. It was a decent game that I watched on replay. Uh, Looking forward to today's game uh, against the Braves uh, to close out the series, potentially get a series sweep. Not sure what's going to happen with it, though. It's 1240, so I'm actually going to have to do my... Uh... So I'm actually going to have to do my preview video early today but because I have class. But we're going to have fun. Uh, thanks for tuning in.